launch the Interwrite Workspace software, you'll see a toolbar appear on the right side of your screen. If you click on the icon that looks like a blank sheet of paper, you'll notice your screen will change. This is a blank workspace document page. And when a workspace document is open, we have a few toolbars and options that you can use to customize your document. The main toolbar is the intermediate toolbar by default and allows for easy access to the tools that you can use to create interactive lessons. This toolbar can be customized. The properties bar allows you to modify any tool that you choose. The properties bar will change depending on the tool that's selected from the main toolbar. The navigation tools allow you to browse to different pages within your workspace document. And finally, the recycle bin will allow you to delete any unwanted items from your workspace page. Now what I'd like to do is try to use some of these basic tools to create a workspace document. And for the purpose of this video, I'll create the water cycle. So what I'll do first of all is choose the line tool. You can see here at the bottom we can change the color of the lines and even the width of the line. What I want to do first of all is to uh, draw a picture of a cloud that can be raining. And here we can do some raindrops underneath it. Actually, I don't like that line thickness, so I want to erase those raindrops. Just choose the eraser tool from the toolbar. I'll go back to the line tool, and I'm going to have a real narrow line for the raindrops. That'll probably look a little bit better. There we go. Now I want to draw a lake or a pond or something at the bottom that can be collecting the raindrops. So I'm going to go to the Shapes tool, choose my shape, I'll do a little oval for a pond, and we can even change the color for the different shapes that we can create. There we have a little blue pond down here collecting the water. Now I'll change to the line tool, which will allow me to draw not only straight lines, so I don't have to freeform those, but they can also have arrows built into them. And you can choose which type of arrow or line that you'd like to create here. And I want it to be in red so that it stands out. And I'll have an arrow showing that the water is evaporating from the pond going back into the clouds over time. And in fact, to make that a little bit easier to point out, I'll even add a text field here and label it with evaporation. And that was how we can use basic tools to create a workspace document.